Hi, you guys. This is Prophet of Phil Sabrina Acapo, and I am back again via the leading of the Holy Spirit with another prophetic word for you guys. As with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the Spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Holy Spirit spoke to me of the word of you are defeating your giants. You are defeating your giants. And how this word came about was today when I was getting ready in the bathroom, the Lord brought to me the ammunition that he's giving you with the rock and the slingshot that he gave to David. Then it took me back to a revelation when I was praying on yesterday of the Lord saying again, you're fully equipped. I've gave you the ammunition. I've gave you the power. And the Lord wants you to know that that power is as well, not only in the ammunition I've gave you, but that power is in your mouth and that power is on the inside of you because I've placed that power on the inside of you. And I thought about the power that Elijah gave to Elijah. And then on today, there was a third confirmation when my friend and I, Janice, was in the car having a conversation and that slingshot and rock came up again along with how David defeated Goliath, how they underestimated the power of David and how David was the least one who never would have been thought of. But they asked, was anybody else in the house that you have any other sons that you could think of? that could come forth. And he said, where there's David, but they didn't think much of David. And he said, but still, go ahead on and bring him out. And you guys, the Lord is wanting you to know your worth and your value. And the Lord is wanting you to know that don't underestimate yourself. Know that there is more did more in you than meets the eye and know that you have the ammunition, that you are fully equipped, that you are fully certified, that you are fully qualified to defeat those giants because the Lord is wanting you to know that you are not alone, that his strength is in you, that he abides on the inside of you, that his fire is on the inside of you. And the Lord is wanting you to know that you will defeat every giant and you will finish strong. This is going to be a short prophetic word, but the Lord did want me to bring this forth because the Lord is wanting you to know that he understands that you have been going through some, you've been going through, but the Lord is wanting you to know that there's about to be a release because you have surrendered everything over to him and you have even asked for that ammunition. You have asked for that slingshot and that rock is like you saw yourself slaying those giants. You saw yourself cutting everything that did not represent the trait, the name, the record, the image, nor the character of God. You saw yourself cutting those things off. Well, that's the Lord showing you that revelation that he is in fact indeed fighting with you just like he was for the three Hebrew boys of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He showed up as that fourth man in that fire and they did not burn, but they came out unsketched and without the smell of smoke. The Lord is saying he is with you in that fight that you're fighting and says keep believing and keep fighting a good fight of faith because he has already made a way. You are qualified. You are certified. You do have the ammunition. The Lord is saying you do have your rock and your slingshot. And most of all, you have him with you that you're never alone, that you have a whole army with you. And you are just like David. You are that warrior that's going to bring down every tactic because I have a strategy. And my strategy will not fail because there is no failure in me. And you are going to see and you are going to win and you are also going to be free of 
all that debris and everything that's going on. And Lord is saying, you will finish strong, continue running the race that is set before the, he gave me the scripture of First Samuel. That is going to be 17 and 50. And let me get that scripture for you. I was pulling it up on my PC for you really quickly. So David triumphed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. And he struck down the Philistine and killed him. But there was no sword in David's hand. There wasn't a sword. The Lord is saying that ammunition that he's placed on the inside of you, that power that he's placed on the inside of you, that word that he's placed on the inside of you, that faith that he's placed on the inside of you, that light that he's placed on the inside of you, that fire that he's placed on the inside of you are going to cause your enemies to move and your enemies to be defeated. That you're going to overpower them. That you're going to overshadow them. Because you're not by yourself. You have a whole team that is behind you. And the Lord has said he has already gone before you once again. And made all of your crooked pathways straight. He's already gone before you. And in order to orchestrate your steps. He's already gone before you. And granted you favor. And granted you that when you will triumph over your enemies and defeat your Goliaths. That's it, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Don't forget to hit that notify bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that this word has exonerated, exhortated, and exhausted your life in such a phenomenal way to know that those words have been confirmed on several occasions, more than three times, that he brought that slingshot and that rock to let you know that you're in it to win it and that you will triumph and that you will overshadow, that you are a warrior and that there's no failure in you, that there's no loss in you, that you are fully equipped, that you are fully certified. And the Lord is saying, you will win. You will prevail. There is no failure in God. You, there is no failure in God. It's a guarantee. It's an assurance. And the Lord is saying, just like David defeated those Goliaths, you will in fact and indeed defeat those Goliaths because you're not alone. The Lord is saying one with God is the majority and the Lord is wanting you to know that you are not alone. He is right there with you. You will finish strong. He abides on the inside of you. And the same thing he gave David to defeat those giants. It's the very same ammunition and the equipment that he certified you, qualified you for, and brought you to right now. And you will prevail and triumph over your enemies because it is in you. It was a part of the perfect plan destined for you to stand in your land and win and finish strong to continue running that race all along that is set before thee. That's it, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love each and every one of you guys. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see you all through to the greatness of success triumphing and shouting over every enemy because the Lord has said enough is enough. Everything has got to be taken off because you're thrusting off and to exhaust and the Lord is saying nothing is going to stop you. Nothing is going to stag you, stagnate you anymore. Nothing is going to distract you anymore. The Lord is saying that's why you have been speaking into the atmosphere of that ammunition. You have been having those revelations of that ammunition. You have been, even been praying about that ammunition and that equipment because the Lord is saying you've already won. The work has been done. You have triumphed over your good life. You have triumphed over your enemies because I have been with you all along knowing that you will run the race continuously that you would finish strong and knowing that you are fully certified and qualified and have already defeated your Goliath and defeated your enemies in you thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ take care we will most certainly talk 
on the next. God bless you. Bye-bye.